Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, we're not going to be talking about how to get into medical school or anything related to medical school specifically. Instead, we're going to be talking about something that's happening in the news recently that's kind of a big deal. I think by now you guys have probably seen this video of an older male physician talking to one of his patients. Now, if you haven't seen the video, let's watch it right now. This is ridiculous. Let's go. Fine. You can go. Yes, we'll I go. cannot believe. Oh, we're ready to call him and let them know that you event. are so offensive. You need to. No, no, no. I'm no, not you offensive. Don't need, you don't need I'm not to get offensive. into it if she's I'm, I'm not Mom, offensive. I'm I am, you, an, okay, I am an American. So what? Born I'm here. right here to translate for her. You don't need to do nothing but to tell me what's wrong with her. If she's okay, if she's not, then I'll translate to my mother. You don't need to sit, tell me that she needs to learn English so you can communicate. Mm. Communicate through me and I'll let her know. It's okay? not the same. It doesn't matter. Do you yes, not it does understand? matter. It's not They're the not same. Sorry, not the same. It's not the same. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm right here to translate for my mother, and he's telling her that to be in a country, she needs to learn English. What the fuck is that? All right, so you guys get the gist of it. Pretty much this older male cardiologist told his patient that he can't speak to her unless she speaks in English, and because she's in America, she should learn English. Now keep in mind, this physician is working in a heavily Hispanic population. San Bernardino actually has a Mexican consulate within its city. So to say that you should learn English to a Hispanic lady, an older Hispanic lady, in order to receive healthcare is preposterous. I just want to say right off the bat, everything this dumbass physician said is ridiculous, okay? And it's incorrect. It's completely incorrect. And I think every physician out there or majority of the physicians who are sound of mind and actually have a conscience will completely agree that you don't do this to a patient, never. It doesn't matter whether or not they can speak English because there are actual professional services out there that you can dial in and you can say, hey, I need a medical translator for this language and they'll connect you. There is actually no language barrier essentially in medicine because you can get to someone who can communicate to your patient on your behalf and communicate to you about what the patient is saying. All of that is accessible now. There is no reason to tell this patient that you can't treat them simply because they can't speak English. Now, I will say that speaking to a patient through a translator is completely different. He is right, it is different. And I'm not gonna lie, I hate that you know I agree with this doctor at all, but it is the truth. So when I speak to Hispanic patients, I really can't speak Spanish completely. So I need a translator to translate for me. There is a sort of a barrier and a sort of a gap I feel with the patient simply because I can't communicate them in their native tongue, right? I can't communicate with them. And that's kind of bad because I should learn how to speak Spanish. Because if I'm in a population where there's a lot of people who speak Spanish, I should try to pick it up as best as I can. So in that sense, he's right. But in every other sense, he's completely wrong. Who cares if you're an American born? Who, who cares? It doesn't matter where someone is from. It doesn't matter if they're from Mexico or from China. It really makes no difference. See, medicine transcends politics, it transcends religion, it transcends sexuality, it transcends everything. Simply because you are treating human beings. You're not treating a, a Mexican, you're not treating a Muslim or a Hindu or a Christian, right? You're treating a human being at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you're Republican or you're Democrat or you're Independent or Green Party, it really makes no difference. You're supposed to treat everyone the same. You're supposed to give everyone the same level of healthcare, irregardless of their belief, their sexuality, their religion, right? All of these things. And if you don't, you're not just breaking the law to begin with, you're also breaking the Hippocratic Oath that you took, where you stated that you are going to be helping people. You are going to be easing people's suffering. So for this physician to do something like this, in my personal opinion, I think he should be fired. I think Pulse should can his ass in a second. I don't even know why they're still considering it, but they should get rid of him because it's such a bad thing to do, right? Your personal beliefs should not come in to the way you treat your patients ever, ever. There are things I believe, there are things you guys believe, and we may not agree. That does not make any difference. 
Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about this simply because I think it's a very, very important thing to discuss. I know that it's not a popular thing. I know a lot of people don't like seeing it on YouTube, you know, seeing politics or whatever. And this has nothing to do with any of that. Okay. This has to do with the fact that as a physician, you are a healer of people. And if you can't heal people without putting your beliefs in front of them, then you're not doing anyone any good. That being said, I hope you guys understood where I was coming from. I hope you guys understand why this is so bad. And I hope you guys get something out of it because this is not the type of physician you ever want to be. You don't ever want to have someone say, oh, that physician sucks. And you know, that's what this is. This physician sucks. He completely sucks. I would never go to him. I would never send anyone to him. He doesn't seem like a physician who cares for his patients. And clearly he doesn't. That's just, it shows from his demeanor. It shows from the way he acts. Now, I want to know what you guys think. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys feel about this. I'm really, really interested in general to see what you guys believe, to see where you guys at and what's your mindset on opinions like these. Do you think your personal beliefs should affect the way you know, you treat a patient, let me know below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button if you guys get a chance. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also thank you so much for supporting our channel so far. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.